And I remember looking at you, my guy, that guy's a mean motherfucker, man. I used to think that, because I didn't know you well, and I'd see you, that guy's a mean motherfucker. And I know, this guy's a genius penis, but he's fucking mean. How can he be so mean? He's, he's so good, why is he so mean? Because you were going through some shit. Um. <laughs> and I know you do And then uh, this one is the mother of my child. There he is. There's Jacob. He's like three. And I put a mask on him because this is right about the time we were splitting up. So it was very emotional. And that's why I put the mask on him after. I tried to hide him. You know, and I mean, I, you can't really see his emotion really. But if you saw the original photo, he was pretty sad. It was, we were going through heavy times, you know, break up, so that's it. So that's, that's my ex. And he was here tonight, actually. He sat here with his girlfriend and stuff. Anyway, I don't know, man, I'm no good at interviews. Well, whatever, <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> what, what, uh, this, how many exhibitions have you done? Is this your first? This, is my, uh, this is my second exhibit only. Okay. And uh, it was a fluke because with Joseph, the owner of this gallery, he wanted me to do some renovation work. And uh, uh, a guy, Max, was doing a photo um, exhibit here. And I knew his father, Robbie. And I came by one day, oh, hey, shit, Robbie. That's my son. Oh, blah, 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 cool. And um, Robbie told him that I did stuff. And Joseph came up to me and he goes, David, you, you paint? How come you never told me? I said, you never asked. So that's why. And then when he saw my stuff, he says, are you fucked? I go, no. You, are you fucked? You do this and you, where, how many do you have? And I told him I had like 25 paintings. He says, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That was it. And that's what this is. It's a fluke. That's all it is. Because I'm not a, a marketing guy. You know? I just, I just do it. I just do it, you know? Yeah. And, are, and are most of your paintings uh, from photographs? A lot of them, yeah. That's from a photograph, that's from a photograph, that's from a photograph. Uh, and these are multiple, this one, I mean, this is multiple photographs. Uh, I elongated the neck like fucking crazy, yes. These are actually my legs. If you look at this closely, this is a young girl with these big fucking legs, they're mine. This was a fluke because I saw a vision one day, I was looking at a, I have a, a closet, with a, with a drape. It's just a drape, it's not a door. And there was something leaning against the closet. And I had done the horse. He was almost done. She was kind of done. She had no leaf on her head, right? Away. But I saw a weird thing. I was just, I kept staring. And there was a fucking horse head that looked just like this in the, in the curtain, in the, dra in the drape. And I'm like, holy shit. I went, that's it. So it's a fluke. So she's, you know, she became the. The horse girl, you know? So, but yeah, but I usually work from photographs. That's actually a photograph of me. It's a self portrait. I was living on top of an a, a Orthodox synagogue, and I actually did myself justice because if you see the original picture, I'm fucking emaciated. I was starving. I was working like a goddamn dog, digging ditches, making basements. And you know, you eat, but the work you do it doesn't make a difference. There's so much energy leaving your body that you lose weight. So, you know. And then I don't know why I did this. It's, it, I, have, I don't know why. You know? That's, I just, that, I, I that, just that's, do it. That's your work bleeding, I guess? Yeah, I just that's do it. That's your energy bleeding? I don't know, but if you look at this, this rope. What's I, I thought that rope was real, by the way. I thought that was added in later. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? Anyway, I don't know what it represents, but it represents, a, you know, it, I mean... It's, it's, it represents life, and then I don't know. It's just a weird thing. And then I guess 
this is really stupid. I thought it was really tacky. Like, you know, he's the painter. It's me. It's, I'm the painter. You know, and I killed my eyes because there's actually eyes under there. But I decided, fuck it. I'm putting some weird sunglasses on because I don't know. It's just, I don't know why I do these things. I don't know why there's a plane there, but then I think about that. I go, wait a second. Maybe I do know why there's a plane there, you know? This is actually called remote control. If you look really closely, there's something right here. That is a 1970s remote control for that plane. It's a remote control plane. Is that a toy you had as a kid? I had what my mother saved up for money when I was a kid. We were really poor, and she bought me a Spitfire. It was one with the rope, and you could go around and around and around and around and around. Totally illegal. They can kill you, right? I, but back then, it wasn't so wokey, you know? It was all kinds of stuff happening, man, you know? It was real. Now it's like, oh, don't do this, don't do that. So, you know, so that's part of my, uh, and that's the orange julep. That was my first job, French fries. And Famous hand. Montreal landmark. Working at Orange Julep, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I learned to play guitar right here. There's a building. There's three floors. On the third floor, there was a drum kit set up. I brought a little PA system up there, and I would play with the manager, Ray. I'm not supposed to talk about this shit. Sorry. You learned, Sorry, to, play Ray. You learned to play music inside I the Orange 12 Julep? 12-bar blues. He taught me 12-bar blues. Um, up there, and I sold him a painting last year, and I gave him a wicked deal. And he says, no, I can't get, and he gave me a $400 tip. And I said, look, you taught me how to play blues. Real 12, and when you, got, when you learn how to play 12-bar blues, you can write a lot of songs. A hell of a lot of songs. So, anyway, so I gave him a good deal, and I, whatever. Any you significance know? to these women at all? This is from... National Geographic. She is, it's a, I think that's from the early 80s. She is a Haitian psychiatric prisoner, basically. And I don't know if you notice this. Yeah, they would tie them, you know, restrain them. And she's like, the way she's doing this is she's not in a straight jacket, but if you look at her, that's, she's that like that because she usually is in a straight jacket. And then this is from, I think, uh, the 70s, might be National Geographic. I, see, I would do a cutout, and I'd take a cutout, stick it. I shouldn't do this, shouldn't talk about this, but whatever, everyone does what they do. You don't know? want to give the method and away. And that's me, that's actually me, but I changed the lips, make the looks, I made the lips look stupid for a reason. But that's an actually me, and I swear to God, I have a picture of this, of me, like that, that's a selfie, with the orange julep, and that's basically what I painted. And if you look, these are parking lot lines. And it's, it looks like the sea. But there's, there's all kinds of stuff in there, you know? Anyway, that's called, yeah, remote control. What about this one over here? That one is from a Polaroid from June. Uh, her name is June. Is she still alive? She was going out with a really, 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 really good German photographer who lived in the States, Helmut Newton. Helmut Newton. So June Newton took a Polaroid of a model. And that is from the Polaroid. And then I added the crow, which wasn't there. Uh, water towers from here. And that's it. But, you know. Uh, what else? I remember I used to love to go look at that fucking water tower. I work at it. Hey, man. Come on. Okay. Come on. This, yeah, is yeah. The, this is the piano player, Tom Menier. Right, right. Is yeah, an it's an interview. On? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're just, uh, you know, we were. So, not so, uh, how great. do you two know each other? Uh, we do the same drugs and yeah, I, I, strictly music, strictly music. I really, we, I don't know how, how do we meet? I, don't know I think I, st I started with drugs. Uh, <laughs> somebody put something <laughs> in my lies, drink, and then I drank, and then I, and then I saw you, and you were acting funny. Hey, man, you're acting weird. So are you? And then we found out the same person put the same thing in our drinks and that's how we became friends there we go. that's many years ago yeah no it's just a lie i can't remember either i think it was the 90s i don't know it's like we were friends like before we were born we can't well, remember I, I remember i remember at one time yeah. um 
in your life, you're going to some heavy stuff. You were really bitchy for about a year. I remember that. I used to look at you, really. And you go to a social club, and you're just, give me my fucking, give me my coffee. Who? You. Give me my coffee. Oh, and you, I was a bad Ah, oh, you were, but I don't want to, but yeah, because you were going through some hard times then. Yeah. You were on tour with Martha, or you just came back from Martha. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It was not a pretty time in your life. It wasn't a, and I remember looking at you, going, my guy, that guy's a mean motherfucker, man. I used to think that, because I didn't know you well, and I'd see you. That guy's a mean motherfucker. And I know, this guy's a genius penis, but he's fucking mean. How can he be so mean? He's, he's so good. Why is he so mean? Because you were going through some shit. Um, I and then just, you became changed. You changed totally. I think that the devil had my uh, had a hold on my soul for a decade or so. Mm. You and see? Then, you see? Yeah. And I freed myself from that. I was an angry person, yeah. For a while, mm. I came out of it. Yeah, yeah. But so are you. One time, I saw you. I was like, dri- I was happy that day. It was spring. I was driving my and bike. What did I do? And I saw you. You were crossing uh, par- uh, Bernard, and you were going down an alley, and I didn't recognize you at first, right? It's like, ooh, that guy's scary. It's like, oh, that's Dave. It's like, oh, that's dark. What did I do? Yeah, you looked really dark. You were like, ah, oh, man. I was like, going through some heavy stuff, too, you know. Oh, is that Dave? I think it's Dave. We all go through heavy stuff. You know, that's what this is. Look at the dark room here. I mean, this could be Germany in here. This is, this is the German. This, is, this would be probably Berlin, right? In Berlin, this is what they would, they would have in Berlin. It's like a bunker, you know? Right. You got the swords. You got the nipples, you know? Uh, you know? And you got the... Creature, you know, I stole that from the uh, the church that burnt down in France. Uh, the, yeah, the gargoyles. The church. The big, the big uh, l'église qui brûlait en France. Notre Dame. Ouais. Lui était sur le, le, le and I, you know, I, I buttered him up, you know. But if you look at his his face, he's the he's one of the gargoyles. Ah, c'est une gargouille. Oui, c'est une gargouille. A gargoyle, yeah, yeah. So did you intentionally leave this room dark? No, this is really, really a plus. What happened was, uh, last week they did a pop-up here, and that's what they painted. It was white before. They painted it black, and uh, I came to the pop-up and just said hi to the guys and stuff, and I went, oh, wow, it's black. That's fucking cool, man. Are you going to leave it like that? Because they're going to paint it white again. I said, no, no, leave it. Because I, in my mind, I knew sort of what was going to happen in here, which is bullshit, but I had a feeling. And so that's what it, that's what's happening. Yeah, that's I mean, all that, right? Bullshit, but I had a feeling. Yeah, I have. I always have a feeling, but I don't. I mean, I visualize something, but I, I, I just thought that at least three p- paintings were picked for a reason. That's why they were put in here, you know. I mean, and you know, if you look at these paintings, they're a little bit heavy, you know. You could, if you have an Orthodox Jews coming in here, and they, they fucking, especially this. Oh my God! You know, they, they're afraid of history. But uh, that's all it is. It's history. And that's why that says, love conquers all. On the, on the, in German. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's just part of history. And this guy is, he's a little spooky. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty interesting piece. Well, that's called How the West Was Won. We gave them sex and Bibles and we stole their land. That's what that's all about. That's why he's teetering on the on the tightrope. And uh, the the smock is there any significance there to the guy wearing the smock? That was um, a guy I saw in some I don't know I can't remember what some magazine or something, and it's from I think it's a picture from the the, the 30s or something, and uh, I put the mask on him, I put the umbrella. I mean it's all. It's just, it's just, I don't know, you know, it's life. But that's why they look perturbed. Marilyn looks so perturbed. And this is my tacky, right? Because Marilyn for me is so fucking overused and so tacky. So I gave her that war necklace. And he's got the cross because he's got nothing left. The land's gone. Once the land's gone, you're dog shit. So he's got... (laughs) He's got some fantasy, you know? But this isn't a fantasy because this is war. You know? 
But whatever, you know, it's a, it's a, I don't know. <laughs> Do you have one that you especially like? Um, I guess you, I, I, you, you know, have a different feeling I, for... Yeah, but you know the one I showed you, the green one there with the... Ah, the William Tell. And, and it's not in, in the exposition. Yeah, because, you know, I'm, really being, like I'm being courteous to the, the gallery owner. Um. So when I came here today with all these paintings, and I brought too many, <laughs> um, he sort of went, okay, that one, that one. So I just, I said, okay, I, I, well, he, I'm he, not passive he, like he that. He curated? Usually. I'm not passive like that usually, but I'm saying, hey, man. So, sorry, but he curated the one well, up? Or? Well, he was really cool, man, because I brought all my paintings here. And then we just started. The first thing he did was he put that one up here. Uh, and then he grabbed that one. I just let him pick. I went in and we, we and that one. I said, we should, oh, yeah, put it there. And we did the spacing together and we just, we just did it. You know? I heard through the grapevine this is your son? That's my son, yeah. When he's around three. Uh, yeah, that was like, yeah, that's it. That's the first one I... Was this a Halloween costume or a... No, 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 no. He's, it's just a portrait of him. He actually has a white turtleneck on and nothing else. There's no hats, there's no nothing. And I just added that, you know. That's all, you know. And that, like I said, that one is... This is the one that, this is the reason I'm here. Like I was yeah, walking down the street. One. I had no context. I, I saw to... this through the window and I thought this is pretty cool. I wanted to call that Dog Day Afternoon. You know, I thought that, you know, that movie Dog Day Afternoon. With uh, um, Dustin Hoffman, Dog Day Afternoon. It's afternoon. There's a dog. Dog Day Afternoon. But uh, I think uh, a friend of mine who thinks I'm gonna win a big thing in Europe, and I, uh, I mean, uh, it would be nice. But I, I know how these things work. It's a little corrupt, you know. Usually, you have to know somebody. There's envelopes involved. Anyway, I don't play those games. But so this, yeah. It's, uh, I, 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 it's, it, this is soul, apparently. So, I don't know. Yeah, I gotta just figure a price. But uh, the gentleman who owns the, uh, the Greek restaurant across the street whispered in my ear. I don't know if you heard what he said, but he, it was quite a. Quite I was a, lingering over your shoulder. It was a, quite a lot of money, fuck. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, man. You know, money is so weird, though. Weird. I, I don't like money. Yeah, how do you weird. how do money you set so a price? Weird. 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 Look at I know. I, Look at him. The fucking guy's poor. He's running around New York, having a hard time, but he's fucking happy. All of a sudden, he gets money. What does he do? Shoots up. He just fucking. He has so much money that he can get whatever he fucking wants, and you know. That's I, my opinion, but to me, to be a real artist, you have to don't give a shit about it. No, that's you know, it, and I don't, I don't, I don't really, but I have to admit, when I spoke to the gentleman, Costa, and he told, he gave me a price for that, and the weird thing was, he wanted to buy it, and he's putting a huge price on it, I'm like, which is nice, because he's... The, the 12,000 guy? Yeah, he was educating me, going, you know, that's what you should charge, man, I mean, come on. I'm like, what? No, whatever, I don't know. I, 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 I do this because, you know, I'm alone a lot. When you're alone, you, you, you got to do something, you know. You can't just jerk off. I mean, whatever, you know. You so can, you, but that doesn't take up the whole day. But you got to, you know, you got to do stuff, you know. Yeah. So I do What about stuff. this one over here? What's the story here? This is my uh, this is the mother of my child. Okay. Yeah. So basically, this is from a photograph. Yeah. And uh, she has no sword in the photograph. You know, she has no crown in the photograph. But... Her stance and her look is pretty exact. It's sort of what really happened. And uh, that is the last time we made love. In that picture. We took a picture of her. That was it. We never made love again. So she's looking at me like, that's the goodbye look. You know? As far as I'm concerned. I, for me, that's, that's like, okay. It's all over now, baby blue, you know? Yeah. What, about, what about this one here? Um, that's from a National Geographic. Yeah, basically it's National Geographic. And I just buttered it up a bit. But it's, you know, nothing to do with me really. I just painted something that already was done. That was a photograph, that's it. 
So it's like I'm, you know, it's it's kind of like I don't like it. I mean, I like it, but it's like what Andy Warhol would do is steal images, and uh, but he would steal them, and it's a silk screen. So it's basically you're copying a photographer. At least I painted it with my own fucking hand. With the, you know what I mean? And you're allowed to do that. So that's what I do. You know, I don't I don't like silk screens unless they're t-shirts. I don't even think Andy Warhol's a painter. Just, he's a silk screen artist. Yeah. Yeah. He's dead now, but... Dead, yeah. Super dead. I would, I would love to see what Andy would see. What would Andy do if he came in here? You know, he might go, Oh, oh, I can copy that. Oh, I can copy that. Oh, I can... I can Because all it is is I can steal and make money. Steal and make money. Like life, right? That's what we do. We steal and we make money, right? Steal, make money. Steal, make money. Oh, I'm going to take a few of these on my way home. There you go. Steal, make money. Sell this one for fourteen thousand. <laughs> You'll be really cool. Tomorrow, I come by here. The window's fucking broken, and that painting's gone. Yes! <laughs> Look at he's having a good time. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta breathe now. Ah. Anyway, I'm glad that you know you guys, the people. Yeah, thanks for doing this. Thanks a yeah, lot, Dave. Sorry, I mean I know it's a weird. Thing. No, this is great. I'm not doing interviews. Oh, that was but, fantastic. Uh, Thanks so much. Sponsored by Red Stripe. <laughs> I really like it. Everyone is having wine and he's like the beer. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that's a wrap. Are you ready? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. This is, we're going, we to, to this is, we're going live. This is, we average uh, 5 million uh, streamers per uh, minute. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Charles. Charles, you're a patron of the exhibition? Uh, yes, somehow, yes. Any piece in particular speaking out at you? Uh, well, the one behind us. Uh, for me, this is some kind of a minotaur. This is, uh, looks, somehow it looks like a woman, uh, we, kind of weirdly, but we, it shows, in my opinion, it shows like the, 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 the character wants to remove the bestiality wants to remove the head feels like the bestiality is part of itself and it has to be it has to be removed so this is very interesting because we all feel we all sometimes feel this way you can see that this the strength it grabs the horns very very nice this one i love this one it's very twisted i love the face of this little girl and the other one doing a kind of backflip. I don't. What, what do you think? I think it's a girl, and that's her father there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see by the bombs. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. <laughs> you can tell. Yeah, yeah, a graceful father. Yeah, a graceful father indeed. Yeah. I see a strong woman. She was fighting. She has blood. Uh, she's naked. You have to be very, very strong to show you naked. I, I did that once in a party. I showed up completely naked in front of 20 people. He was there. And to be honest, it's, it's a very, uh, very strong feeling. You feel very free. You, you, and you need to be very strong to show yourself completely naked. This is amazing. This is nice. She's definitely a strong woman. She's uh, an icon. Women, they, they are equal as, as equal as man they are as, they can be as strong as man uh, my 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 mother was part of the woman's lib in Quebec it's very important the the, the women are, are very strong they, they, they especially must, when they're wielding swords with blood dripping off them yeah and I would say part, yeah it's, it, it looks like she killed the king actually because she, she has she blood she, she has blood in her head she you know like she put the la couronne yeah, the crown. Yeah, absolutely. You know, she fought for happy. it. She fought for her title. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now nice. the artist himself told me that this is a portrait of his ex, the, following the last time they made love. The expression that he took a photo of her right after they made love, and it's based on that photo. He added in the sword, of course. 
or allegedly added it in. It could have been there. This one, I, want, I don't want to talk about this. this is, what do you mean? This is that, if you don't want to talk about it, it's probably the most interesting take. Yes, but it's very complex. It's very, very, very complex. I'm having a hard time to analyze this one, to be honest. I'm seeing some icons, and I'm having a hard time to... to uh, I can have an interpretation. Uh, we discussed recently with some, some other folks the idea of, uh, you see the doctor with the... the uh, um, smock. Yes. You, you call it a smock? Yeah. The, the, the doctor. What do you guys call it, a smoke? It's, well, yeah, it's a mask for, from the, the plague. Yeah, the doctors. I, yeah, exactly. The, I, I, I've heard that it was filled with herbs. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why it was long. They, they filled it with herbs to, 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 to uh, breathe inside this. I thought it was to get them to stop licking patients. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see clearly that the, 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 uh, the contamination goes from the Europeans to the natives. That's sure, for yes, sure. Yes. But the, 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 the thin line and the equilibrium, I'm not, I, I'm not too sure about. And this is all the mystery about this paint and I think it's, it makes it re really relevant and very intriguing. Yeah, definitely. I, lo I love the background, the, the, the tan color. We don't know where we are exactly. We see a village, but it's very, very mysterious for me. With one TP on fire. I don't know if it's a TP or a bonfire, but yes. Maybe I, it's at a, first, yeah. I thought it was a bonfire, but now I think it's yeah. a TP. Yeah. It must have been burned by the Europeans maybe. somehow. Yeah. This. I remember this picture. I had a poster when I was a kid, and it was a poster of Sid Vicious. I thought it was Sid Vicious, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How old are you? I'm uh, too young to know who that is. <laughs> I'm 44. How old are you? 31. 31. Okay. I had, I had a poster, and it was this, like this, and this was clearly Sid Vicious. I, ca I can, yeah, I can... I remember the, the, the guy. And well, that's also a, a self-portrait of the artist as a younger man. Although I think he put a little Sid Vicious twang to it. What's, what's up with the tuna singer? I have no idea. What's your well, take on this one? Well, that one I didn't really have. My, I, I, that was my take. This is a Sid Vicious homage, but he said it was him. He said he was generous to himself. He put weight on himself. He was quite emaciated at the time from lack of funds. How come you recognize Sid Vicious if you're 31 years old? Well, I have the internet. <laughs> you're good, man. You're good. You're good. <laughs> he was my idol when I was younger. And he was... Well, whatever. We're going elsewhere. The, 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 the shades and the, the eyes. The eyes are in, like in rapture. <laughs> That's why. Liebe besiegt alles. That means besiegt. What's besiegt? L'amour is love, love German for love conquers all. Yes. Yes. Love conquer, conquers all. You're good. No, Liebe, Liebe is. Uh, you speak Deutsch? Nope. Nein. No, I mean, nein. Liebe, yeah. Liebe besiegt alles. Liebe is people. Liebe is. No, Liebe is love. Ich liebe dich. Besiegt, sieg, sieg, to combat and besiegt. Conquer. Alice, <laughs> So this is clearly Berlin style uh, cabaret. He lived in, Bar in Berlin for many years and he, he knows that kind of character in his, <laughs> in his daily routine. <laughs> he, he lived in Berlin and he told me, he said, there are some, some parties very underground and some people, it's all black, and people, they, they, they fuck each other, and they don't, they don't even know, they don't even see the people they, they fuck, and it's like crowded and all pitch black. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, this is, a, <laughs> so we don't have that, those kind of parties in Montreal. So it's not weird that my wife keeps telling me to turn the lights off. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it wasn't weird, I knew it wasn't me. <laughs> David Sanders knows how to paint a butt. Uh, I do agree. I do agree. And he has nice proportions because usually tall legs like this, they don't go with a small upper body like this, but this is very Barbie proportions. 
So clearly, this is a Barbie type of, uh, of character. Uh, she's a tourist. Get a look at that water tower. She's, this is a contradiction again. You don't have a water tower close to the water. Uh, well, close to. Yeah, where is it going to get the water from? Yeah. This is nonsense. She got tricked. She got tricked. She, she's, uh, she's a blonde. She, this place is a nonsense. I mean, let's not even mention the high heels on the beach. I think the, 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 the art piece is not about blonde, st stupid tourists. It's about all of us. We all get tricked. We, with, with the new medias, we, we, we've been told to, to go some, at some place, and it's a nonsense. We have to find our own ways. So what do you think about it? I think it's... Go ahead. Yeah, go, go for it. Oh, oh you're turning <laughs> tops of turbian. Sure. Not his first interview. I don't know. I haven't really looked at this one too much, but uh, there's a, I would say there's a suicidal element to this one. Like she's got the gun uh, kind of pointed like it seems like it's right up under, under her. You know? Like it says sheriff on her holster there, but she's not holding it the way a sheriff would hold it. The sheriff will be holding it like off to the side or but it's sort of almost pointed inward. Once how, again these contradictions. How would you describe the hands? Well they're 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 indescribable. They're they're out of yeah, it's out of focus. Them, no? yeah, yeah, you can't even see it. So it makes it seem like it's unknown what her objective is with exactly, the gun. Exactly, mm. exactly. The hands are not it's like ghosty because right. you don't know the intention. Maybe he was just struggling to draw hands because if we look on that one, it's not the best hand, so. I love this guy's I, not deep at all, he just can't draw hands. I, I love the different. I mean, I'm looking at all the hands that he drew. What about this one? <laughs> That's one of the nicest hands I've ever seen in my life. Well, look at all the, look at the hands here. Hands are tough. Yeah. <laughs> they are tough. That's the first thing they get you to do in art yeah. school. They're so like, maybe there he, he, he decided. to start flunking. I think he tried to draw some fingers, but then they were really chubby. <laughs> you know what, guys? Let's get out of here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead.